Check it out, it's City Bees. Here I am. Looking for my name on the caster thing. Uh, this membrane keyboard is wacky. There we go. How are we doing tonight? Anybody gaming? I don't know what the historical record is between these two. Um, but I think Slarp is like the only player who's been like really threatening Shay lately. So, Dan, wish you were here. How are we supposed to donate to the Lamborghini Fund if you're not here? played really weird tonight. I drank too much coffee, so I kind of played like a crackhead, and like, sometimes, when I was like looking at the screen, it was going okay, and then like, when I wasn't looking at the screen, it wasn't going okay. Anyway, this was, uh, this was brutal when I walked over, but it's looking really good now. Well, good for Shea fans, anyway. The Flarp enjoyers. Did Shay take the last set? I, I gotta, I gotta be dead ass with you. I pay almost no attention at all to the records of like everybody else in the region. I barely even know my own records. Ooh. Flarp killed me game four, last stock, last hit by wave dashing through me and then misfiring in the opposite direction to catch my out of shield option. Uh, so that's how that's going for me. Score. Motobug's yelling at me. Ugh. I gotta actually manage the stream and shit? That's fucked up. Yeah, I hated that for me, too. It was, it was really funny. I was... If, uh... If it wasn't... If it was game five, I would have been mad. But it was game four, so I was, like, a little less mad. But also, it's just, like... I don't know. I don't really expect to beat anybody in this room anymore, so, like... Flarp has a reputation for being, like, this super careful defensive player, but, like, at the local, Flarp will do crackhead shit occasionally. Like, Flarp has been, like, throwing a fireball and then just wave dashing into people and just catching their out of shield option with Umpy lately. Just shoots the fireball and then just full tilt, max speed wave dash in Umpy to get people. And, like, it works. No, I, I, I'm. That's because you're here and you see Flarp gameplay, so you know what it look what it's like. We all love Flarp here. He's a champion, the hero of our times. Shay's been cooking lately, though. I think Shay's won the last like three SGs, something like that. Like if the season ended right now, I think Shay's number one. He gets away with so much because of the way that he plays. Like, Flarp does things... He has, a, he has a certain level of, like, baseline, slow spacing game that he plays. That means that when he does literally anything else that's vaguely unsafe, you're usually not ready for it. Because, <laughs> like... Luigi has the ability to stay pretty safe relatively well. It's, like, one of the few things he's actually, like, good at as a character. He's, like, not a lot of his moves are, like, distinctly unsafe. I, mean, I don't really have enough game knowledge to do real commentary, so I'm, like, not really gonna bother, but, like, oh my god, that was... That's a new thing I've been seeing Flarp do lately, too, is the upbeat, like, a little higher than normal to just slide onto the stage instead of go for the ledge as a mix-up. That's new. I don't think I've seen that. So, 
thinking. So the only sets left, I think, are Flarf, Sokka, and V Motobug. I don't think I have a Motobug win in me tonight, but maybe. Flarp has been cooking tonight, though. Did Flarp beat Motobug? Let me check the, the old bracket here. Uh, no. Okay. So, what are we looking at? Uh, Flarp Sokka's already happened, so it's probably Shea Sokka. Yeah, it's Shea Sokka, then me Motobug. All right. Jeez. Flarp closing these games out in record time, aka under four minutes. Yeah, that's usually not a good sign. The, the Flarp Ices are good, but uh, anecdotally, I don't know if I've ever seen a mid-set character switch from Flarp work. Mid-set character switches basically never work, unless you're a dedicated dual main. I, I am staunchly of the opinion that people should just, like, not do it, but... It's weird to say that I don't think Shay is playing patient enough, but also, like, this is weirdly aggressive play from Flarp. Flarp does not normally, like, press advantage this hard. This is, like, honestly kind of novel. Oof. That is, uh, you hate to see that kind of thing happen. As the commentary cliche goes. Well, that's how you get a little momentum back. This this could have been a really funny bracket if I clutched it out against Flarp, but uh, I did not, unfortunately. So. Yeah, it could be kind of funny. We we had, we tend to have a lot of really funny top cuts nowadays. Oh my god, Flarp is on some shit right now. We do have, we do tend to have pretty funny top cuts nowadays. Like, it's pretty rare that someone will just run away and go 4-0 or 5-0. Like that doesn't happen super frequently anymore. Cause there's like there's a tier of like Dave. There's, there's a tier of, like, Flarp, Motobug, Shay, and then there's Dave, and then there's a, a tier gap, and then there's me, and then there's, like, anyone else who enters the bracket, where it's, like, I will randomly ruin somebody's day occasionally, but, like, I'm pretty much never in the top cut contention, but, like, Grand Finals is actually a different matchup on a lot of weeks nowadays, which is a uh, welcome change for SG. That's, like, not normally the case. It used to just be it was the same match. We had long stretches at SG where um, we would have the same Grand Finals matchup just over and over and over again. That's, like, not really happening right now. This is remarkably close for a game that Che SD twice in. Oh, jeez, that was not the DI you wanted. That was not it. All right, well, I'm probably getting off the mic now. 